Our planet is a habitat to an astonishing 369,400 flower species, with the majority of them remaining undiscovered and unknown to us. Flowers come in a variety of sizes and shapes, with the largest ones weighing up to 20 pounds. Let's explore the top six largest flowers in the world. 6. Amazon Water Lily. The giant water lily is a truly impressive plant. It is the largest water lily in the world, with leaves that can grow up to 10 feet, 3 meters in diameter, and stems that can reach up to 26 feet, 8 meters long. The leaves are strong enough to support the weight of a small child, and they have turned up edges that help to keep them afloat. The giant water lily is native to the Amazon basin in South America, where it grows in slow-moving rivers and lakes. The leaves provide shade for fish and other aquatic animals, and the flowers are pollinated by beetles. 5. Puya Raimondi. Known as the Queen of the Andes, Puya Raimondi is the largest species of bromeliad, and can grow up to 15 meters tall. This plant species is found in Bolivian and Peruvian forests in the high Andes. Its flowers can grow up to 30 feet tall and contain 8 to 12 million seeds per plant. Unfortunately, in the wild, the Queen of the Andes has only three populations, and has lower genetic diversity compared to the thousands of other species in the bromeliad group. Puya Raimondi is currently on the brink of extinction, due to its inability to adapt to climate change and deforestation. 4. Neptune Grass a team of scientists has recently sequenced Posidonia oceanica, commonly known as Neptune grass, a seaweed that has been covering ocean floors from Spain to Cyprus for around 200,000 years. This plant has roots, stems, leaves, and flowers, and it produces fruits known as sea olives, but it is not an algae. Its flowering season is in autumn. The leaves are ribbon-shaped, with a width of about 1 cm and a length between 30 and 120 centimeters. This aquatic plant grows in the Mediterranean Sea, and certain areas south of Australia, and it shares many features with land plants. Neptune grass has several benefits, including oxygenating the oceans, and serving as a food source for various animal species. 3. Talipot Palm. Originating from South India, the Talipot Palm is one of the world's largest palms, it can grow up to 25 meters tall and have stem diameters of up to 1.3 meters. The palm fronds can have a diameter of up to 5 meters, with a petiole of up to 4 meters, and around 130 leaflets. The talipot palm boasts the largest inflorescence of any plant, measuring from 6 to 8 meters long, with one or more million small flowers on a branched trunk atop the main trunk. Monocarpic in nature, the talipot palm flowers only once at the age of 30 to 80. Besides being as useful as coconut in its native region, the talipot palm has many uses, and its surprisingly tasty fruit, known as ice apples. 2. Titan Arum. The Titan Arum, also known as the Amorphophallus titanum, are death flower, a rare flowering plant with the largest unbranched inflorescence in the world. However, it is not renowned for its fragrance as it emits an odor resembling that of a decaying corpse while in bloom. The plant can grow to be around 10 to 15 feet tall, with leaves that are as large as 13 feet. Unlike the talipot palm, the fluorescence of the titan arum does not grow in a straight line, but branches off making it a larger flower. The titan arum holds the world record for the tallest recorded bloom of a corpse flower. Standing at 10 feet 2.225 inches, despite its significance, the corpse flower is listed as vulnerable on the International Union for the Conservation of Nature Red List of Threatened Plants. The plant may become endangered due to habitat loss and devastation if the conditions affecting its life and reproduction do not improve. 1. Reflesia arnoldi. The world's largest flower, Reflesia arnoldi, measures over 3 feet in diameter and is also known as the stinking corpse lily or corpse flower. It is one of the largest living organisms, and is a parasitic plant that remains inconspicuous until it is about to bloom. This plant has no roots, stems, twigs, or leaves. Over several months, buds grow to the size of a cabbage without showing any signs of the infected host plant. The corpse flower emits a foul odor, similar to a rotting corpse, during its blooming phase, 
and while flies gain nothing from the flowers. They are attracted to the scent, and inadvertently collect pollen on their backs as they rest on the bloom. When these flies land on a female plant, they release the pollen, fertilizing it. The resulting fruit is small, fleshy, and contains thousands of seeds that are dispersed by tree shrews through excretion. Since Rafflesia is a rare unisexual plant, flies that sit on a male's flower, and collect pollen have a low chance of passing it to a female for fertilization. Rafflesia arnoldi is one of the world's most endangered plant species, with certain species classified as critically endangered by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature.